cyber people. I want you to ride your bike across America. And I'm going to give you a little bit of tips, and uh, maybe you can learn some things. So I personally traveled through 11 states, over 3,500 miles. As you can see, there wasn't much rhyme or reason to my route. I sort of just plopped little points on a map and then went there, sometimes asking locals for certain things to see. Oh, that's what we look like. <laughs> bike touring kind of stands out. You have a bunch of crap on your bike. So I wanted to go by myself originally, but it actually made more sense to travel in a pack. So first of all, you need a bike. Yeah, you they make special touring bikes, but generally you can just use whatever bike you want. I chose steel because I carried all my stuff in panniers, but you could also bring a trailer or just a credit card. I read just about every blog and book that you can read to figure out what to bring, but really it comes down to what you want. I ended up uh, sending a lot of things home. The thing that I thought would be the most important ended up being not important at all. So it really just comes down to wearing padded shorts. <laughs> you really have to protect your butt. Having a good saddle is a really important thing. Also, be OK with your spandex-clad self and embrace the camel toe. <laughs> Remember how I said bike touring is supposed to be fun? It's also supposed to be liberating. Be a kid again, go outside and play. But it's even better when you can have a beer at the end of the day. Get off the beaten track. It's really important to just go explore. Go visit a state you've never been to. Every place matters and has a story to tell. Even when you have preconceived notions about a place, it, the world will surprise you. My favorite town ended up being in Northwest Arkansas. These are the three most important things about your trip. <laughs> Eat, sleep, and poop. <laughs> it's important to take rest seriously, but it's also important to use all the food you can as energy. And you need to eat a lot. <laughs> I ended up having to eat four meals a day. Second breakfast and 11 Z's are not just for hobbits. <laughs> it's also good to mention rest days. Be sure to rest often and go and explore. You also end up sleeping in very strange places. I was continually humbled by how many strangers let us sleep in, our yard, in their yard. People went out of their way to be kind. Also, look for green grass. It usually warns of midnight sprinklers. <laughs> Pooping can be victorious on tour. And when you're out in the middle of nowhere, guess where you poop? The middle of nowhere. If you visit the Craters of the Moon National Monument, be sure to check the crater before you jump in. I might have left a present. There's no denying the range of emotions that you will go through. You will laugh, cry, and celebrate. Don't be too proud to ask for help and always accept help when it's offered. You'll also make friends with all kinds of people. I spent Halloween with cross-dressers and went to a bonfire on the banks of the Mississippi. I even came to Boulder for the first time while on tour and may have met some of you. But it's not all fun and games. You may also get flat tires rolling over goat head spurs, and you will cry as you try to fix that flat the fourth of the day. But you know what? You can still scream like Serena Williams as you bike uphill. <laughs> Soul searching sounds kind of cheesy, but you really do spend a lot of time by yourself. I ended up singing, without an iPod, all of Weezer's Blue Album in order from memory. <laughs> And when you reach the top of the mountain, the most victorious thing, you know the name of every summit. And when you bike up Trail Ridge and have a 40-mile descent, it's one of the most amazing feelings in the world. <laughs> there are tough times, and I will be the first to admit wanting to quit, but I have to say, what gets you through is the adventure itself. It's something amazing and takes on a life of its own. Every day creates its own story. And that's what I recommend, figuring out a way to document your trip. I tried to keep a journal, but I was too tired and lazy. So I kept a beer journal instead, <laughs> because I was never too tired to try a beer. So be sure to find your own voice and tell the story of your own adventure, and be inspired Ignite, and go for a bike ride.